In this video, I'm going to cover WordPress hosting. Now, there are so many different WordPress options out there in terms of hosting. There's managed WordPress, there's shared plans, all different types of WordPress plans. In my opinion, most of the top tier web hosts out there are pretty similar. Now, I will say the big differentiators between them are customer service, the prices, in particular the recurring prices, and what the hosting package really includes. And I guess you can also throw in site speed in there as well, but that can vary depending on what level plan you're going to choose. So in this video, we'll check out my favorite web hosting company. I really have two, but I'm going to go over the one that I recommend using, and I'll show you why I believe it is one of the best companies to use. And I'll go through each plan and discuss some of the important features that you should consider when picking a web host. So the company that I'm going to recommend here is called Green Geeks. You can access Green Geeks by going to wpwithtom.com slash Green Geeks or clicking the link in the description. Now that is an affiliate link and I do appreciate if you use that. And Green Geeks has been around for a long time. It says celebrating 10 plus years of web hosting right on their homepage here. And they have plans starting as low as $2.95 a month. And that's a big reason why I recommend them to people watching these videos and taking courses that I have because it's very affordable to get started with Green Geeks and you can get a site up pretty quickly and not be paying an arm and a leg to do so. With a lot of managed WordPress hosting plans out there, you're going to be paying a premium and you might be paying $25, $30 a month. And there's really no need to do that when you're just starting out and you're just trying to establish and grow a new business or a new website online. So if we go to where it says WordPress hosting right here, we can see that there's a video right here. It says fast, secure, scalable web hosting for WordPress. If we go down, there's three different plans listed. All WordPress hosting account usage is offset by 300% renewable energy credits. So they're doing this in a green way, hence the Green Geeks name. Now I think they're a little bit in your face with it, maybe sometimes over the top, but that's just their message. and They wanna make it clear that that's something that they're doing and it's important to them. So you can see right here, there's the Ecosite Lite. And the key thing that you need to know about this is there's one domain name hosted. So this is a limited plan where you're only gonna be able to host one domain name. So if you have multiple businesses, you're probably gonna to wanna to go up to something like the Ecosite Pro here or the Premium. I would really say that the Ecosite Pro is probably going to be the best for most people, but if you only have one website and you have one business and you're sure that's your only thing you're going to have, then Ecosite Lite would be fine. But most people are probably going to want to go with the Ecosite Pro plan. And I just wanted to point out there's also a 30-day money get back guarantee if you do not like the plan and it's not working out for you, you can always switch within those first 30 days. Now, some important things that I wanted to discuss here are that it has SSD disk space. If you highlight over these things or hover over these I marks here, you can learn more information about each of these. So they do not limit you on the amount of disk space that your website uses. And SSD disk space is going to be making your website a little bit faster than a normal host would. They have email accounts, bandwidth, uh, free domain included. So you can receive a free domain registration or transfer your existing domain registration free of charge. So that's a nice feature to have if you have your domain name hosted elsewhere or if you want to register your website in the process, you don't have a domain name yet, you can do that when you sign up for a plan. You just have to reach out to their support and it will just take a few days for the transfer process if you're doing a transfer or during the sign up process, you can sign up and get it for free. Right here they have Let's Encrypt Wildcard SSL and SSL is something that you're going to need to make your website more secure, it's site secure lock, and that is basically making websites more secure, and it's really important to have that in the eyes of Google and other search engines now, that it's becoming a new standard within Google to have SSL on all your sites and make it more secure for your visitors. So they also say free website transfer, which I somewhat alluded to with the domain name transfer. They can also do a free website transfer if you're going to transfer it over. They have cPanel and Softaculous, and that comes into play with what we're doing because we're going to be using the cPanel area to install WordPress on our website, and I'm going to go into that in the next video. This process is just going to be going through the sign-up, and the next video within this series here, it's going to go over how to install WordPress on your website, and it's a really quick process, so don't worry about that. There's also nightly backups, and that's a great feature to have as well. 
Cloudflare CDN is also a great feature because it can make your website even faster, as it says right here. They have this power cacher technology. You can also use caching plugins, and it's not included in this small plan. I wouldn't worry about this too much, but it is a nice feature to have with these two larger plans here. And I'm just going to go through the process and just sign up with this Ecosite Lite plan. I actually already have a plan with Green Geeks, but I'm going to go through the process here to show you what it would look like. So if we hit Get Started, it says help me get a free domain name. Here's where you would put that in. Or if you want to use an existing one, you can do that as well. I'm just going to put in something random and then hit check availability. And it says sign up, congratulations. Your domain you requested is available. And next you're gonna fill out this information right here. When we get down here, you can see that you're gonna get this three year plan to get this 295. If not, you're going to pay a yearly plan for 495, two years for 395, or three years for 295. Now I know that might seem a little bit maybe deceiving or disheartening when you see the 295 price, but this is a very common way that people advertise within the hosting industry. And it's very common that hosts do this. So if you want, you can also sign up for monthly. And if it's not for you, you can always cancel. But I would recommend signing up for longer if possible. I'm going to show you what 295 for three years would actually look like and what price that would generate. So if we go down here, it says domain who is privacy. Now I would recommend that you do get who is privacy on your plan because that's going to hide your information from being public and you're going to get less spam if you have that hidden. So if you have all of these enabled, you'll get three years of hosting for $116, which is pretty crazy. That's what one year of hosting costs with many other things. So if you want to look at the other options, you can see two years would be 104.75. So you're basically getting $12 more. You're getting a whole nother year. Or if you want it to go for one year, it's $70, basically $69.35. Or you can do the monthly and it's going to be more expensive the way that is. So you can see right here, the total for three years is going to be 116.15. And that's if we have the who is information hidden and that's going to hide your public information so i do recommend that you get that and then you would just simply put in your credit card information and create and get started now once you do that you're actually going to get an email with the information and i'm going to go into that email and how to actually set up and install wordpress through that process in the next video by starting in the email so let's dive into that in the next video in this series